Hi, it's Dr. Lisa. Do you work for a health insurance company or do you have health insurance? I know it's complicated. So we asked Chen, a member of our team, to call her health insurance company to see if she could get her questions answered. You will not believe what we found. So I'm trying to call my insurance company. I don't know if I call this number that's on this card. It's saying that you call this number if you have a medical emergency. The other number on here is if you're unsure of your condition and require immediate medical advice. But I just really want to know more about my deductible. So this is a common first problem. When you look at the back of your insurance card, it should have phone numbers as resources. But if you can't figure out which one to call, just pick anyone except for the one about the medical emergency and someone will help you get to the right place. If you choose not to call your health insurance company, there are other ways you can reach out to them. You can email them. Often they have a chat bot. You can actually have a live chat with the representative. Or of course, you can send a letter in the mail. Hello, my name is how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Glad to hear it. All right. So what can I do to assist you today? Um, I was calling because I wanted to get a better understanding of how my deductible works. Um, I recognize that I have been huh? paying my copay, at least for some of the appointments that I've gone to, but I noticed that the deductible hasn't reduced at all. So. so this is a common question and also a source of confusion. Some of the language of health insurance can be really, really weird. Copay, coinsurance, deductible, how does it all work together? It's not surprising that Chin is a little bit confused because she's been paying copays, and as far as she knows, your deductible, the amount you have to spend before your health plan pays all of your bills, she's expecting that number to go down every time she makes a copay, and that's not happening. I'm going to place you on a brief hold so I can pull up your benefits here. So brief hold, one to three minutes, that's okay. Yeah, so I'm being put on a brief hold for one to three minutes so he can figure out um, the answer to my question. She's asking him what contributes to the deductible. Let's say your deductible is $1,000. You go and see your doctor and you have to pay $50 you would expect your deductible is now $950, but that's not what's happening. So she's asking him why, and he doesn't appear to know. So he's put her on hold because he's probably trying to go find the answer. I've been on the phone for five minutes and 20 seconds and counting, waiting to get a response. And I still do not have the answer to my question, which is what if my co-pays are going towards my deductible. But what's discouraging to me is that she's calling for help with the numbers on the back of her insurance card and the person at member services is not able to help her. Anything that meets your deductible would go towards your out-of-pocket max, of course. What's the difference between the cost that go towards the deductibles and the cost that goes towards the out-of-pocket? You're saying as far as what type of care? She's trying to get him to explain to her the difference between a deductible and an out-of-pocket maximum. We don't talk a lot and we don't hear a lot about out-of-pocket maximum, but this is an important number to know because it's not the same as a deductible. I don't know if it's dependent on care, but like, why is it that the co-pays went towards the out-of-pocket cost but not towards the deductible? So I see this one, the 130 is coming from your physical, Mm-hmm. But so that does but that doesn't go towards like my deductible because my understanding of the deductible is that twenty five hundred is the amount that I that when I've I guess the accumulation of different services meet up to that twenty five hundred, then costs from that point forward are free, correct? Or like they're right, no right, once you right, once you measure the deductible, now if you want you meet out of pocket max, then now the out of pocket max is you don't have a, let me take a look here. So, I'll have to take a look at your benefits, I'm sorry. And the reason it's not straightforward is because at each plan, it's different. So you actually have to call your plan when you sign up for health insurance and get someone to explain to you what each of these terms means and what services can be applied to each one. I know it's complicated, but unfortunately, that's what we have to do if we really want to understand our health insurance. Certain services, you'll pay the entire cost, and after you meet your deductible, you would pay a lesser amount now, or whatever that benefit is. For example, each benefit, it may be different for each one. It may be 35% coinsurance after you meet your deductible for certain services. For others, it can be 50%. Now, once you reach your out-of-pocket max, that's the max you'll pay overall in, in the 
course of a year for for medical services, with, according to your plan, of course. So you would have you would have met that obviously after because it's, because let me say this: yeah. I when the person trying to give the explanation doesn't really understand what they're saying, it makes it confusing. So that one hundred and thirty dollars that I've already paid for, like my co-pays for different appointments, that goes towards the out-of-pocket cost but doesn't go towards the deductible and why and what is the difference between the cost that will go towards the deductible and the cost that will go towards that out-of-pocket cost so this is brilliant because you see how chen follows up because she sees that not only is his answer confusing i mean i'm even confused by what, what he's what he's saying but she's following up because she wants to make sure he answers her specific question okay so I'll let me place you on a brief hold. Maybe one to three minutes, all right? Yeah, no problem. If health insurance companies are watching this, the people who man your phones need to understand your plan, how it works inside and out. They need to understand all the terms because we rely on them to give us answers. <laughs> and I still don't have the answers to my question, y'all. So my deductible cost is 2,500 and my out-of-pocket max is 8,250. Can you see why this is confusing? A copay that doesn't count toward the deductible and then you have an out-of-pocket max, something you probably have never heard of, but your copay does count toward your out-of-pocket max. Again, it's really important for you to call your health insurance company and make sure they are very transparent and they tell you what your co-pays are and for what, what your deductible is and what services count toward the deductible and then how you actually get to the out-of-pocket max. Because the truth is, your health insurance company will not start paying 100% of your healthcare costs until you get to the out-of-pocket max. We're still here on hold. Guys, this is gonna be the last one. So he'll have all the answers when he gets back on the phone. They're not even playing me waiting room music. Like, how inconsiderate. Until you meet the deductible, you will pay for that, you will pay for that cost in full, right? Mm -hmm. So being that you only paid a copay for this, then it's just a copay, it doesn't it's not gonna it's not gonna change regardless of you meeting your deductible. So those services weren't subject to your deductible. Okay, I'm confused. So when you meet your deductible, those wanna go towards it. That's why Okay, so it went towards the deductible, but it went towards the out of pocket max. Okay, so if I'm hearing you correctly, you're saying the reason why that went towards my out of pocket max and not the deductible deductible is because I'm already paying uh I guess quote unquote reduced fee and that fact that it's a copay. Um and that's why it goes towards yeah. the out of pocket max. So he needs to explain to her how she can reduce her deductible. So if it's a service that you get and it's not subject to your deductible, either way, it will, it will only go towards your out-of-pocket max. And the reason it goes towards your out-of-pocket max is because that's towards the services, you know, that's towards services over the course of a year in medical expenses. Okay, listen, I just need to like, take a time out here and say the customer service on this call out of you know zero being the worst and five being the best is a zero primarily because the person doesn't understand insurance so why doesn't the copay count towards the deductible she's asking the same question right now that she had at the very beginning because it's not subject to the deductible even okay because it's a copay and it's, it's always going to be that amount right okay so is it only services that I guess would not actually be covered by like the things that I um, that I would pay full coverage I guess for yes exactly yes something you would pay full coverage for, full so specialty imaging mm -hmm. you pay a 35 percent co-insurance for that mm -hmm. after you meet your deductible but until you meet your deductible you pay for the entire cost of that so if you pay for that entire, when you pay for the entire cost of a specialty imaging, it will go towards that $2,500 deductible. Okay, so he's using a new term now. He's saying coinsurance. And I'm not sure that's the right term for what she's asking. She's asking about her copay. So copay and coinsurance are not the same thing. Coinsurance is generally when you need something covered that your your basic insurance doesn't cover. It might be dental or for seniors on Medicare, they may need a coinsurance to pay for their medication. Or some people have a primary insurance and then they have a secondary insurance that's coinsurance. So what services under my plan are covered by or go towards a deductible <laughs> is this like the third or fourth time she's asked this question 
I can at least a lot of them. A lot of them. Do you hear that? A lot of them. I'm 26, fairly healthy. Like the most of the most of the services that I'm usually going to, unless it's like accidental or something you never know with life, like more likely that a lot of the costs that I'm going to incur that are not going to go towards that deductible. They're going to go towards my out of pocket max, correct? So let's see, I could, yes, in some cases, yes. Because, um, are you feeling frustrated for Chin? <laughs> right, those are $30 copays. And those one of these subjects to the dump. So let's say you're going to get a checkup. That's not going to go towards your dump. You can just pick the $30 and you want to go towards it. If you get a lab or radiology, that's not going towards it. Uh, Even I didn't know that. I thought, okay, sure, the copay might not count towards your deductible. But if you go to the lab or get x ray, how is that not part of the deductible? So once I hit that $8,250, that for the out-of-pocket max, then what um, happens after that? They're all services are 100% covered. Um, okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay. But what you've been, like you said, just from what you're saying, you've been fairly healthy. Um, yeah, I, I mean, more, exactly. I'm not likely to. I'm not likely to hit that. Essentially. Right, yeah. right. He's basically agreeing with her that because she's healthy, she's unlikely to incur $8,000 worth of expenses. And the year is half over. So this is interesting. The entire call went for about four, 24 minutes. And when it came to the operator, the person that assisted me with my question, I was able to tell that like, he wasn't necessarily the expert on insurance. Like a lot of the times he was getting off of the phone to put me on hold. So it felt what, what it felt like he was going to go find the answer to my question. And I think this is pretty unacceptable, especially now when we're at a time when people need their healthcare more than I can remember in my medical career. So people need access to trusted, understandable information about their healthcare. Pull out your insurance card, call one of those numbers on the back and get all of your questions answered.